Kazaki encore une fois prend cette victoire contre Welcome back everybody to the alpha stream of the EGL and Europa Halo 2v2 Spring Series. I'm Joe Sketch, joined here again with the 2v2 legend, as I like to say, Tommy <laughs> the Krogan. Tommy, we just had a cracking series with Kalanta versus the Intimidades, and the Intimidades starting out slow in that one. Uh, eventually, the second game was a lot more closely contested, but it was a 2 0 on the side of Kalanta. So we're staying on board with Kalanta in, up to their round three, their quarter final series now against. Uh, Cats is our, is our team, uh, Mr. and Marine. And Tommy, with your 4v4 experience, you've played against these players before. What sort of play style are they going to offer going into these 2v2s? Yeah, I mean, uh, Marine I'm not that familiar with, but Musta, I mean, we, we've been bouncing around for quite a while. I've, I've seen him play a lot. We've played against each other a lot, so I know how Musta plays. He's, he's one of those European amateur players who are actually very, very smart. They think of the game in a deep level, they don't just sprint around like maybe some other players and just win every gun fight with their gun skill. I mean, Musta still has a lot of individual skill, but he's known for being one of those smarter players. Uh, that playstyle fits 2v2 quite well, in my opinion. There are times when you need to play really fast and collapse with your teammate, but other times you just need to be on point with your communication and your knowledge and just being able to read the situation correctly. So. Mr. is going to be on top of that. So they'll play against uh, Mada and Penguin, who we just saw. And I feel like Mr. and Marine are too strong for this, these guys. But we'll see what happens. So you think it's going to be a 2-0? I, I think it'll be a 2-0. Uh, Mr. Mr.'s highest placement in the Face It 4v4 Cups was second, just like myself. So uh, if I was playing <laughs> against these guys, I'd know I'd win. So I know Mr. will win as well, 2-0 for them. Oh wow! Look at that. Some some humbleness from yourself, Tommy. <laughs> there, no, nah, it's, it's all it's all rightfully deserved as well. Uh, yeah, just recently as well, Mister on that source team, uh, placing some top three and top four in some of our um, season four uh, face it four v four tournaments as well. And he did play with Marine in most four v fours as well. The Royal Marines, if that if that rings a bell, that was our week one of season four and they placed top four as well. So that's a really good squad. So these players are definitely have the experience um, to play and also they play together as well. So our map layout for this one, Tommy, is gonna be Plaza map one, rig map two, and then truth. So what do you wanna see? Because we haven't seen Plaza on the stream so far. What do you wanna see these players do on Plaza? What sort of setup, if you were in this game, would you be doing? I mean, it can depend on a situation. Whatever you can control successfully, it's up to you. I mean, usually players try to control nest side because that's where the sniper rifle spawns and the overshield is pretty close by as well. Other than nest, you can have your teammate maybe on the LR side of the map or in blue. It doesn't really matter. Either side can work. Uh, if you get the snipe control, you have a lot of options as well. You can make nest work, you can make S3 work, you can make blue window work, you can make top of cold work. It depends on what you're comfortable with and maybe if, if your teammate is manipulating the spawns correctly, then you can make anything work with the sniper rifle. Other than that, we have also the overshield. So uh, at the start, I feel like both teams are going to send one player maybe towards snipe side and other players are going to contest for the overshield. So it'll be two one versus one situations right, right off the bat. Whoever gets that first overshield is going to know the time. So they'll be the favorite to maybe securing the next one as well. And if you're playing and if your team is on top and you're playing while well, you've got the OS, what sort of pushes are you going to make? Where do you want to try and spawn the other team? I mean, uh, in, you want to make them spawn inside blue base or maybe in the yard, it depends on the situation. But you also need to be careful that if you have the overshield that you're not pushing too fast because your teammate needs to maybe take a different route and uh, they need to maybe play it a bit more careful because they don't have that extra layer of shield. So you just have to be able to communicate to your teammate when you're pushing with the overshield and also stop for a minute and look at where they are and when they're ready, you make the push happen. Yep, and the players are ready. Our lobby is set up. This is the winner's bracket quarterfinals, and it's going to be Cats versus Kalanta. We've already seen Kalanta play so far, and just to mention it as well, Cats 
played against Demonica Esports, our top one of our top four teams last time out, and they won 2-0. I'm not too sure how close this series was overall, Tommy, but Cats came out 2-0, and we saw some of them. We casted some of those Demonica Esports games on stream. They looked really on fire last week, so that's quite a big win for Cats, especially in a 2-0 fashion. That sort of shows exactly backing up your point that this team is going to be uh, probably the better of the two squads, but but Marder plays top six, so he knows he knows how to play the two v two. Penguin Core as well. They looked good against Assault and Legend Six, but there it is on the screens, ladies and gents. Plaza's loading up. This is our game one for our quarterfinals. We're jumping aboard with Marine, and just like you said, Tommy, he's looking towards this OS. Yeah, that's true. Most actually, most of them for the grab, so they are actually prioritizing the overshield at the start. Nobody went for the sniper just yet. Musta and Marine are okay, never mind. Marine is going for it right now. Musta is maybe trying to buy some time from Marine to line up those shots. He hits two body shots. They also know that the second player is in blue, so he's gonna get collapsed by Musta very quickly. Yeah, nice little start from both Marine and Mr. here. That OS was smartly burnt by Pink One Marta, but they couldn't get the kill, which allowed Marine to get their sniper off and clean up at the start of the game, so it's a nice start from the red team here, from Cats. The Marine and Mister are just trying to find the lone players, Marder and Penkel. They're both spit out. Nice nade from Marder, so that's a big kill in the two versus one for the side of Colanta, and that keeps them in this game right at the start here. Still only a two versus one. Penguin Core is back on the maps, and Marda and Penguin Core know where Mr. is, and they rightfully push in. But look at this now. It's going to be a one versus one. Marine versus Penguin Core for all the marbles at the start of this game. Some nades are flying in for Penguin Core, but it looks like Marine's going to get shields back. So it's going to be heavy, a clean one versus one, both shields on either side, and just, they're just playing each other's lives. But Marda does come in for the cleanup. So it's a nice team play again from Colanta, like we saw in the start of this game, Tommy. Yeah. Uh, Musta is getting caught off alone, so they'll have to wait for the full respawn and try again. Penguin Core and uh, Mada are likely trying to stay close to the overshield because the next one is coming up pretty quickly. Uh, Musta is making a flank nest side right now, so I'm not sure if Penguin is aware of that. He's just looking at this player in front of him. Uh, he gets the kill, but Musta finds Mada and actually gets both of them, too, so that was a smart play from Musta. He didn't shoot until he had to, he, he knew both neither of the enemies were looking at him, so he made the correct play there, went for the flank and just waited for the right opportunity. Right now he's getting naded, so he'll, he'll wait for a bit, maybe let his teammate take some shots. But they actually both go down, so that's, that's uh, good stuff from the boys in blue. Yeah, for sure. Both Marder and Pengacore seem to be playing these trades quite well and also their teamwork as well, catching off the players on Cats individually. But this is a lesson that is up right now, Tommy, and every single player is up on the map. So contested shots are going down here. Marder has to back away, but he challenges again. Gets some shots onto Mister, so he makes Mister one shot. No one's fallen yet, apart from... I speak too soon. Marine's been taken down. Mister left alone, trying to protect against this OS, but Marder keeps re-challenging. Big kill from Mister. Pengacore gets the cleanup. We jump on board with Marines. He's on the spawn here, looking towards Penguin. Penguin picks it up, so rightfully so. John already one step ahead of me on the production. He's got the OS Penguin and also the new sniper. This is all the marbles, all the weapons to play with as well, Tommy. It's a free kill lead. That OS has already been burnt. Yeah, uh, maybe we'd like to see him Penguin leave the sniper for his teammate because it's a bit of an awkward. Ooh. Oh, nice snapshot. Uh, I was saying it's a bit of an awkward situation to have both the overshield and the sniper rifle because you want to have those long sidelines and just freely look at people. But if you have the overshield, you also have the pressure of trying to play fast and getting a few, few kills. Mada hits a body shot with the sniper rifle, so two bullets left. Marine is right behind him. Uh, Marine might be actually... Uh, yeah, he went for the other guy, so that was a smart play from him. They isolated one of the players. Now the sniper rifle is empty. Oh. Nice sticky nade from Mada. So now he's going to try to maybe find this other guy and kill him before his teammate moves to spawns again. Oh, it looks like both Penguin and Marder are heating up. Penguin with that no scope, Marder with that stick. Some clutch, clutch plays there. We're jumping on board with Marine now with this light rifle. He's searching down Penguin Corp. Penguin Corp, rightly so, is backing away, but he's backed away into the fists of Mister. So it's a two kill game now. And it looks like Marine and Mister started slow, which, or maybe Penguin Corp and Marder started quickly. Maybe we're not giving them enough credit. But this game is slowly getting back on level terms. Some nice shots from Mister. That's the top five. Makes it a one kill game. Marder left alone. Only open. Mr. Rechallenges. Marder with some nice shots, but again, that's 12-12, and Tommy, look at the time. OS is up any second now. Yeah, Marine is going to probably stay LR for a bit. Uh, Musta is blue window, so enemies are going to spawn in nest side. Mada is the first spawner. Um, Penguin Core spawns in nest lift as well, so this should be a free overshield for the cats. Uh, uh, next overshield, I mean, there will be a one more, so it's, it's not over yet. 
for the boys in blue, but um, it's, it's starting to maybe get out of hand. Actually, Mada finds a kill, so depending on the overshield time, they might be able to actually turn the situation around, which they do. I'm not sure what the time of the overshield was. Oh, it's so late. It was 24 seconds. I thought the overshield was going to be up way sooner, so that's my bad. With a nice sticky from Vista, so the overshield is completely nullified. Vista's making some plays, Joe. Oh, that's a huge play for Mister, especially with Marder hunting him down as well, Tommy. What a couple of plays there from the side of the red team. But I guess what we forgot about was Marder and Penguin got the last OS. They knew the time. So maybe they played a bit slower, knowing yeah. that it was going to come up a bit later. And knowing the side of Mister and Marine didn't know the exact time on it. But now looking on board with Marder, get some shots on towards that red team player. But he's trying to back away, trying to get the snipe. But he doesn't know there's a player above him in S4, so he's got to be careful. So he watches back here. But he seems to be hunting down this one player on Cats. He seems be getting away just though as Marine gets a clean up on the penguins and Marder's left alone. He needs to try and play his life here now, Tommy. As both players are hunting for him, he needs to try. I'd want to see him back away here, trying to regroup with his teammate, maybe on glass side. But he snipes down Marine with that guardian shot there. Nice kill from Marder up against it. And now his teammates in one versus one. He gets a clean up on him as well. Two snipes back to back from Marder. That's keeping him alive in this game, Tommy. Yeah, that's what you need to make happen to be able to stay in this game right now. Well, still two bullets left. He's just gonna keep this nest control. His teammate is in a bit of a pinch right now because he's nest one. Mada takes some shots as well, so the red team is now gonna push nest side. Well, Mada needs to hit one of those shots pretty soon, otherwise they might go to the... Ooh, Tommy! It. Tommy, he did right that, he hits that no scope as well to Marder and Penguin going off that sniper, hitting some clutch no scopes. I'm sorry to interrupt you there, but what sort of oh, plays dude. now from the side um, of Marine and Mister do they need to do? This OS, they're not too sure about the time of the OS, so they need to play it quite carefully, but what do you want to see Mister and Marine do to try and get back into this game? I mean, they just did the biggest thing, they got one of them down, so they'll be able to take some map control right now. Mister Top Gold, Marine, Ella, they're taking Marder down. Penguin Gore is left alone, Overshield should be up in like 6 or 7 seconds, so Penguin needs to maybe get a kill and try to stay alive because Marine has is gonna pick up the Overshield any second now. Let's jump on forward with Marine, he has the new Overshield and we're on. Mada is weak on Hotel, uh, Penguin Core just went down on the other side of the map, so it's it's 21 to 19 for the Cats and uh, they still have some of the Overshield left on Marine. Uh, Mr. Sports uh, blocking the blue spawn, so the enemies are going to uh, spawn on the yard side right now, so the Oars player is just hunting them down right now, he's just sprinting at them. Yeah, for sure, the OS is gone, nice mount from Marder and Penguin Core, but is it worth it? Because it looks like Penguin Core's weak in this one versus one, and that's right, so Miss is taking them out, so a nice trade again, use them out of OS, they got the kill advantage in that, and that's a free kill lead, and they only need two more, so nice shots from there from Marder to try and take down Mister, he's down to low shields, Penguin Core and Marder left alone, left trapped in this blue base and yard, and with this, Mister's looking towards that yard base, trying to hold the angles down for his teammates, right, but get some nice communication with Mister, and looks like Penguin Core's left alone, top middle, perfect kill from Mister, that's our game one, Tommy. 25 to 20 for Cats. And that's 1 0 up in the series. Yeah, good stuff from uh, the boys in blue as well. They had some blood snipes. Uh, the power of Musta and Marine is just too strong for them right now. Looking at the stats, uh, definitely Penguin Core had a bit of an off game right there. He had the lowest damage as well. 5 to 15, so negative 10. Uh, other than that, we saw three snipe kills from Mada, so he tried his best with the tools he had. Musta, highest damage in the game, 2.9k. What more can I say? Musta and Marine are, are starting to warm up. And I think the scary thing, Tommy, with that series, and Mr. Marine didn't have a lot of those OSs. And I didn't think I saw her even have a sniper. They might have yeah. had it for like a couple of seconds, but realistically not for that much long. That's confirmation of game one, 25 to 20, four cats. Now Rig is gonna be our next game. And last time we cast this, Tommy, it wasn't just two players on each side of the map. It was the map itself which came into play as well. A lot of players deciding to take some dives, take some nose dives down the center, or even we saw Savia find a new spot I'd never seen before and managed to get a kill in it as well. So some effective plays on this. But going into this rig, it's the first time we've had it on the alpha stream, first time we've seen these players play this map for sure. What do you want to see these two teams do off the start and going on to late into this game? I mean, red team has the advantage for the first camouflage. Uh, and the camouflage in this map is huge, just like in, uh, sorry, just like in truth as well. So you want to try to control that and know the time. Maybe if you get both of the enemies down, you can milk the camo pick up a little bit so they're confused about the time. 
Other than that, we have a sniper rifle with four bullets spawning on nest. If you get the snipe camo control, it's it's pretty much game over for the enemy team if you can actually hit those shots. Uh, I'm definitely looking towards Smada and Penguin Core. Keep control of those power-ups. I mean, like you said, they got most of the overshields on the first map, Plaza. So hopefully they can uh, secure these camouflage as well. That will be their chance to win this game. Uh, Mada, maybe he can secure the sniper rifle, hit some more shots. That's another good thing for them. But I feel like Mr. Marine are too strong and they're only now just warming up for the bigger matches to come. I mean, I'll be the first to say that I'm going to predict Mr. and Marine the top three. I believe they will be fighting against Fireboy and Stika for that top two position to play Carter in the finals. Uh, Mr. and Marine are a very strong 2v2 duo. I believe they played even some Halo Reach 2v2s together, so they have that chemistry right there. And like you said, they also played the Face It 4v4 Cups together, so they they played everything together. They're a working duo right now. Yeah, and it's hard to disagree with you, Tommy, as well. Mr. and uh, Marine I just look so good uh, as a 2v2 especially towards the end of that first game. But the thing which goes on board and the thing which I like from Paincourt and Marder is their starting strats. And hopefully we can see that on this game as well. The camo's already been knocked down. which on board with Marine. It looks like Mist has taken a dive for that camo. He gets hit to one shot, but manages to just about escape with it. So nice, almost steal there from Mist at the start of this game. He said Red Team had the advantage and rightfully so. They grab that first camo and with that, the perfect kill on the map. Snipe is still in play though. Marine is looking for it as Paincourt is just trying to get out and escape. Cleaned up from Marine, so a headshot onto him, and he gets a sniper rifle for his troubles. And he's already looking for the spawners, Tommy. Yeah, nice team play there from the cats. I mean, Marine did it to sprint for the sniper rifle blindly. He waited for his teammate to make that opportunity happen, and they're just picking off solo players one by one. This is what you want to do. You want to get your enemies on a split spawn and then collapse one of them, collapse the other one. Then the next one spawns, you collapse him, you just keep that thing rolling. Right now, they're also pinching this player in the bunker, so they should be up 6-0 right now. Yeah, and I mean, I'm going to make, gonna have to eat my words here. I said I like Penguin Court and Marder's starting strats, but so far, I do not like this starting strat. There's 6 0 down, and Marine has a killing spree. He's only used one of his sniper rifle bullets, and that was for a kill as well. So, in perfect utilization of that. He's already looking for spawners on the side of Kalanta, but he doesn't realize they've already spawned out and they're already on the way in the map. But 7 0 start here, Tommy. Make it 7 1 now. Make it 8 1 as we keep seeing kills flying. Mr. The no Scope. It's going to be a one on one with Marder, and he doesn't even need need that extra shot that's a perfect kill for marine so they are heating up for sure tommy and just about the spawns a 9-1 yeah the guys in blue they need to set up a different approach maybe slow play this until the next camo flash is coming up uh it's really hard because the cats are actually pushing them right now because they have to leave so uh penguin finds a nice nice kill on musta so now they really need to push marine and kill him before musta can help him out uh, uh sorry actually yeah, kill Musta before Marine can help him out, but they actually take Musta down, so now they'll be trying to isolate Marine again. Yeah, and we're on board with Penguin now as he's looking towards Marine, Mister spawning out. And I think with Rig, there's so many different places to hide, so many different angles to get, that if your teammate spawns across a map, it's so tricky to come and help and back them out. And that's what we've seen for the side of Kalanta doing pretty well at this point of the game. They're isolating the players of Marine and Mister. I'm not too sure I like that re-challenge from Penguin. And Marder now has a camo. So Marder has camo, but his teammate down. He's got to try and play this slow. Sniper rifle's only going to be up in about four seconds, Tommy, as well. So look at this. Penguin and Marder all around the sniper rifle. Marine's trying to get some shots onto him, but the flank's coming in from Mister. The Marder rifle predicts it, but his teammate's gone down again, so the camo's not been utilized so far. He just picked up the one, versus, uh, the one shot, and he gets shots down to Marine, uh, Mister as well. So it's a nice double kill from Marder, utilizing that camo well, and he has the sniper rifle new. So just looking for the spawners on the side of uh, Mister and Marine, but he can't seem to spot anything so far, Sammy. Yeah, look to see Mister and Marine maybe trying to play this so they don't give any free kills, but actually Marine. Goes down right there, Musta is in a trouble, tower one. Uh, he's actually gonna kill Mada here, so Penguin needs to clean up that kill, which he does, and he gets the sniper rifle with two bullets left. Um, only for, down by four kills, next camo in like a minute, so they're not out of this game just yet. They need to keep this inside control up until the next camo comes up, but Musta Marine will try to make a push happen. Musta's actually pushing E2 right now, he's gonna take a fight with Mada and actually take him down for free. Uh, now they're gonna isolate Penguin as well, I mean, that's that's a perfect push from Musta and Marine. They went different routes on the map, but they communicated when they are making the pinch happen, so they're not just uh, pushing in different times. 
So good stuff from them. Marine gets the last bullet and the sniper. Musta finds Mada with the DMR perfect shot. So they'll be pushing, uh, looking to kill Penguin before the camel comes up. Yeah, and I really, really like this. Um, I reckon even though we can't listen to the communication, Tommy, the communication from this side, Marine and Mist, is surely on point because it seems like Mist is making yeah. the pushes exactly when he needs to. He realizes that the player was weak in E2, and he just decides, oh yeah, do you know what? He's, he's isolated, so I can win this fight. And that's purely from the communication from Marine coming again, saying that he's in this one versus one. But now we see Marine left up with Marder. Some nice shots, Marine, just as that camo comes up. So both weak. The teammates should both be spawning, but look at this penguin spawn right next to Marder. They're both in this basement window trying to get some shots down, The right across the map is both Mr. Marine and Mr. decided, you know what, I'm not going to fight you, I'm just going to go for this camo and he gets it for free. So let's see if we can jump aboard with Mr. now, with a fresh camo, gets a perfect kill, and I think that's about his third or fourth perfect this game, Tommy, as well. I'd like to see the stats after this one, and it's really, really spying out of control now for the side of Mr. Marine, if it already hasn't. Camo now on their hands, new sniper coming up any second, and Marda and Penguin Call once again spawned back bunker and trapped there. Yeah. They need to stay alive right now, they, they can't give any more free kills to the camo player and Penguin Gore, just use that. And they both go down to Musta. So I'm not sure what that was, maybe maybe they've tilted a little bit about how the match has been going so far, but this game is pretty much over. Musta with a sliver of camo left, it's out now, but Marine has the full sniper rifle, he just used one shot to get one kill, so three more shots left. Both the enemy players are now nest side stuck, Marine has a free shot on Penguin. They also know there's a guy hiding maybe in sewers, maybe too, they're trying to find him out. They're just hunting right now, there's, there's nothing uh, the boys in blue can do. Do you know what, I'm going to put a bet out there, Tommy, that Mist has hit about five perfects this game. <laughs> we'll jump on board with Penguin Core. Uh, does get a nice kill, does get a nice double kill, actually, on the side, but yeah, it's, it's just too... Too little, too late. It seems that Penguin and Marder, they're not in the right headspace. They seem to be making some reckless pushes they weren't doing in that Tim and Daddy series as well. Obviously, the caliber of players, Marine and Mister, are really, really high. One of our top three uh, predicted teams uh, from this tournament. And we'd like to see if that comes out later on. So there's a nice kill from Penguin Core. Nice double kill again from Penguin Core. So he is heating up, but it's just so late into the game. Only two kills left for the side of Mister Marine for this Cats team. And... Despite you getting two per double kills back to back and Marder getting a perfect, it's a long, long climb and one which not many teams make, especially against calibers of the like of Mister and Marine. So if the next camo's coming up soon, Tommy. Uh, a nice trade. So there's only one more kill for the side of uh, Cats as well. And it should be over any second now if Penguin Core and Marine meet in a one versus one. Yeah, he might actually get caught by two players right here and go down. So this, this should be the game. Mada comes through now, so it's up to Musta to try to milk this camo, not give it away for free. I'd like to see Penguin go for it very soon because Marine is gonna spawn and it's gonna be a 2v2 situation real quickly. We do get the camo flash, so this is the last chance, but it's pretty much impossible. Marine is gonna look to slow play this one and Musta as well. They don't wanna give the camo player any free kills, they're just gonna stick to the tower side. Well, actually, they're gonna make the push happen, so this is ballsy from Marine and Musta, giving no respect to their t uh, opponents. Yeah, you're like down only by six kills and you're pushing the gamma player that openly so they must be feeling confident oh it's down to four kill lead now so there is a small chance now for the blue team uh hopefully oh, no. if penguin finds this player but he's he's lost but his teammates should be able to clean that one up but marine is running to save the day hopefully I can't believe this though, Tommy. We might have speaking nonsense and it does end the game <laughs> eventually. But at one point it was 23 to 12 or 23 to 11. So I guess you might say that cats were being a bit lax towards the end of that game. But let's just give some shout out to Kalanta. They did try and fight back and try and uh, get some kills back their way. It was almost an insurmountable mountain to challenge in the end. But Tommy, talk me through the stats of this one. 25-21, Mr. and Marine Cats winning the series. But let's check out those stats. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, again, Penguin Core had least kills and least amount of damage, so he'll be looking to maybe improve on a lot of stuff going forward. They need to m maybe tighten up their teamwork or maybe focus more on uh, slow playing in certain situations, waiting for those power-ups to come up. I don't really know. We'll see how the bracket plays out. Uh, side of red team, Marine, 15 kills, 10 assists. Uh, you were saying Mist had five perfect kills, or you said he would have, maybe. He had only four. I'm I disappointed, Joe. I can't I'm really disappointed in you. Uh, highest damage in the game, though, Musta. He had about uh, 800 more than anyone else in the game, so there's no stopping Musta. You're seeing Musta 
play Halo 5 again. This is like his fourth match now. He's just warming up. This is not the best you're gonna see out of Musta. But it's gonna keep getting better the longer the tournament goes on. And uh, like I said, I expect to see them in the top three at least. Yeah, I can't believe that perfect prediction. I was one off. I, f I was sure about it. I sure I saw that DMR perfect came in, and that's number four. That was one perfect away. Oh, Tommy as well. I've I've really enjoyed our, our casting for this for this tournament so far. I've, your analytical knowledge is next to none when it comes to these games. We just got confirmation that cats do win 2-0. No cat-like reflexes needed for that squad as they take it pretty cleanly there, Tommy. So we are going to jump to a break in just a moment. But Tommy, this is going to be the end of our duo ship. We had such a good time that first Bravo stream, and I'd love to have you back on board again. So what closing remarks do you have for anybody watching the stream? Yeah, unfortunately, this is the moment where I dip out and give my room to another caster from North America, Tules. Uh, I've enjoyed these two series. Uh, I hope we get to see more of Musta and Marine. I mean, like I said, they can only get better the longer this tournament goes. Initially, they might run up to Cartel or Divine might be just Fireboy and Stika and they might be sent to Loser Bracket, but they'll have more games, more practice there. So I expect to see good stuff from them. Other than that, um, yeah, last week we were on Bravo stream. That was my first time appearing live on camera on stream casting. So next week I'm already on the main stage. I can't complain. That's a, <laughs> it's a nice step up. <laughs> if it's only two series, I'll take it. Maybe, maybe I'll come back next week for some more. Well, Tommy, you used to be on a main stage when, the, when competing as well. So it's just the duo now. You've been on a main stage as a competitor, been on a main stage as a caster. I have absolutely loved it as well. And I really, really like the uh, analytical mind that you give to, to the street, to the viewers at home as well, especially because you played at such a high level of 2v2 and 4v4. That is really, really valuable information, especially to those newer players who are looking towards, well, I can see the game playing out, but how are they doing this? What are they doing? What sort of plays should I make next? That that's really, really crucial information and it, and it fleshes out these games as well because you would have played against and with some of these players uh, on multiple times. Maybe it's 4v4, yeah. maybe 2v2. But that is our quarter final over with and that is a win for Mr. and Marine on Cats. They lock themselves into the winner's semi-finals. Thank you so much, Tommy, for coming on board and casting with me. We're going to jump to a short break now and we'll see you in the winner's semi soon.